What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video on the Lawn Lover channel. Today we're going to talk about lawn aeration or overseeding in the spring. I've got a lot in the comments on this, uh, messages, I've seen a lot of it going around the forums online. So let's talk about what the lawn lover thinks about spring aeration and overseeding. So here in Northeast Indiana, we're in late, late March, early spring, first day of spring was a few days ago. And we're kind of in that weather pattern of where we're approaching 50 degree mark on soil temps, um, kind of at, we're at the mark where we're going to start laying down product, laying down our pre-emergence. Um, seen a lot of uh, comments, got a lot of questions like I said about um, aerating in the springtime via core aeration. Um, and possible overseeding in the spring. What I advise everybody is try to avoid overseeding in the spring if you can. Now I get there's situations where you can't avoid it at all. Um, preferably you want to do that in the fall when your weed pressure is lower. Um, in the springtime you get a lot of weed pressure. This is when all the soils start heating up and your weeds start coming out. So on the, on the second note is if you want to if you try to run a core aerator around your yard um, it is possible a lot of people do it a lot of lawn care companies do it you'll see a lot of it happening in the spring namely for I would recommend it for yards that get compacted over the winter if we've had a lot of snow personally I never aerate in the spring um, just because you're opening up holes in the soil you're gonna allow room for those weeds to the seeds to spread and to sprout throughout your lawn which you do not want to do you want to avoid that at all costs if possible I have not core aerated my yard in probably four or five years um, I use a liquid aeration product now I started using the next air my next brand aerate product last year when I switched to the yard mastery plan um, prior to that I was using another um, product similar similar product a liquid aeration basically you're going to spray this um, it calls for a minimum rate of six ounces per square foot um, up to nine ounces per square foot if you have really compacted soil I was skeptical of this at first I wasn't sure how it worked but I can honestly tell you I've been using this stuff for like I said four or five years I have not core aerated my yard in that time and I get excellent drainage um, and over time this stuff has worked fantastic for me I do love using this in the spring mainly because like I said, I'm not opening holes in the ground, not allowing weeds to spread. I keep that grass canopy nice and thick to choke out the weeds, um, and I'm not opening myself up to that weed pressure. This stuff is great. It's also got soluble potash in it. It's one of our biostimulants that I use um, in my biostimulant program, um, and it contributes to the overall soil health. So all in all, I mean, it's a win-win in my opinion on using the liquid aerating product as opposed to core aerating. So all in all, I like the liquid aeration product, like I said, not saying, I, I did not say don't ever core aerate your yard. There are some instances you have severely compacted soil, by all means, hit it with a core aerator. I used to do it all the time. But as, as time goes on and you improve that soil health, the need for that core aeration will go down in my opinion. Um, you're going to be applying the macronutrients through your fertilizers, the micronutrients through your biostimulants if you start using biostimulants, which I would highly recommend. And overall, your, over the time, your soil health is going to improve, which is going to make for less need for any aeration, especially if you're using the liquid aeration products, um, which will keep your grass nice and thick, choke out the weeds, and in all, you'll get that great looking turf that you you're going for. I really appreciate you watching the video. Uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up if you liked it, leave a comment, questions, let me know. Um, and I really appreciate it, like you said. Looking forward to the lawn season, and let's get at it. I'll see you next time.